An Al Jazeera investigation has found that the Israeli military intentionally targeted the world's central kitchen convoy in three consecutive airstrikes, despite being called a tragic accident by Israel. Here's what the evidence shows. The World Central Kitchen says its three vehicles left the warehouse here in Deir Abala sometime around 10.30 p.m. local time on Monday, April 1st. The convoy travelled just four kilometres, making it to Rashid Street along the coast. Witnesses say the first vehicle was hit by a missile there just before 10.45 p.m. The injured was seen being transferred from the first car to the second armoured vehicle. The second car made it 800 metres south from the first attack when it too was bombed, killing everyone inside. Photos from the scene clearly show it was hit straight through the roof by a projectile from above. The third vehicle in the convoy made it a further 1,600 metres, turning off the main road in an attempt to avoid destruction before it was hit by a third and final strike also through its roof. The cars were clearly marked, and the International Aid Group had told the Israeli military of its team's whereabouts, giving them the coordinates. Questions remain as to why the Israeli military targeted this aid convoy. It's uh, definitely brutal, uh, but whether it's brutal as a, a matter of high-level policy to discourage other aid NGOs from uh, risking a repetition of this kind of disaster, or whether uh, it was something that uh, went somewhat wrong in its execution and authorization. In an area deprived of fuel and petrol, there would have been little traffic, mostly aid trucks and Israeli military vehicles in the area. The aid cars were moving in a three-vehicle convoy, clearly marked from above. The missiles used were of a type that maximised destruction in a very small space, primarily used for targeted operations in urban areas. Chris Cobb-Smith is an experienced weapons expert who has worked in Gaza and has seen similar weapons used. I went out with some NGOs, humanitarian NGOs, looking at potential war crimes, looking at potential human rights um, violations. And back then, this is what, 13 or so years ago, it began to transpire there was a weapon system being used for, I wouldn't say tar targeted assassinations, but to target very specific individuals, groups, uh, buildings, and in particular cars. And this weapon system produces just the sort of effect we're seeing on these, um, or we've seen on these vehicles. Among the dead were three security consultants hired by World Central Kitchen, whose job would have been to liaise with the Israeli military on their whereabouts. The fact that the convoy was hit several times, each strike some distance and time apart, suggests that this act was intentional and that the convoy was deliberately destroyed. Alex Gatopoulos, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.